we are heading back out on the 1967 Skeeto Olympic. I was planning on being out on the 399 uh, 1970 Olympic. Uh, got the engine all fixed and everything, but I've got a pretty bad hole in the muffler, so it's super loud, so I have to fix that before I can use that snowmobile. Well, today we are heading back out onto the trails. Uh, the last video, if you missed it, be sure to check that out. Uh, we hit up uh, the Pioneer Bar, the Loon Saloon, and in front of Playmore, and did a lot of back uh, woods trail riding. Uh, this time we are heading to Lake Woods and to Garmish and hitting some really cool uh, backwoods uh, trails. They're in really good shape, so I hope you enjoy the video. I'll talk to you as the video goes on, kind of tell you a little bit what's going on in different spots. Uh, the video is a little bit shorter today because I edited out a lot of the, the longer st stretches of driving so you don't have to jump ahead. I will do it for you. Uh, this is a turn to go to Playmore uh, in front by my house. And you can see that island in front of us. That's the one that's pretty close to, to Lakewood's the long, uh, a long island. Right here, if you would turn to the right, right in this area, you could head over to the Four Seasons. And if we would turn to the left, at that's the oh, actually right over there is Four Seasons. I think that's the turn marker for Four Seasons. And then the next turn marker up just up ahead here would go to the left, which would be going to Garmish. But today we are going to be heading straight. As you can see right ahead of us, that is Lakewoods. This is Lakewoods. This is where the Weenie Roast is held uh, March 3rd the weekend of March 3rd this year. This whole area would be full of snowmobiles on that weekend. I filmed this on February 6th. It's currently February 17th when I'm editing this. We had some rain and some warmer weather so the snow is a little bit more settled but now we're back into the, the low teens. Uh, even at, I think it was probably 10 degrees when I got up this morning. So the snow is a little bit different today than it was from this video time. I worked for Lakewoods for a, for a short time doing maintenance. If you don't have any plans for the weekend of the 3rd of March, this is a great place to come. If there's any rooms left, they've got the world's largest weenie roast. You can jump on Facebook. They've got a page for the, for the event. It's a lot of fun. Thousands of snowmobiles in the area at the time. I plan on trying to be there. Hopefully the snowmobile's still running and at that time. <laughs> open water right there because this is the pond that we're driving on right now. I'm usually the only bitches snowmobile at the well there, there's sometimes there's a few others but I'm one of the few uh, vintage snowmobiles that's at the weenie roast every year. My dad and I would always go up and my dad and my mom and, and I would come up here and sit up at the in that big open area in the bay there everybody waving and checking out the snowmobiles because of being the only uh, few vintage snowmobiles there they catch a lot of attention this is the Lakewoods golf course 
if you turn at the stop sign, if you turn to the right, you could go to the Evergreen and go towards Cable and the, or go the other direction, go to the dam, the Namakagan Dam. If you go straight here, I think it goes to Clam Lake. I think, don't quote me on that one. I've never really gone that direction. Uh, turning here, you head back uh, towards the Navicoggin Town Hall or to Garmish. If any of these people that are path passing here, if you're one of these people, drop in the comments that you saw me that day. February 6, 2023. This is a beautiful trail through here. Really good shape too because not, not that many people take it. Some pretty sharp corners through here so you kind of got to watch for the oncoming with the low snowmobile you have to kind of stand up to see over the snowbanks Now we are at, I can't remember the name of this road, but if you go straight, you can go through, that goes straight to the town hall. And then if you turn to the left, which I'm going to do, it's going back towards Highway M. I had to stop and check my battery and, and kind of warm my hands up a little bit. Love this little stretch here because to the to the right it's kind of a big open field and stuff like that so it's really pretty down in there which I'll show a little bit kind of a side angle coming up here right there you can see the big because I think it's a swampy area why there's really no trees down there heading this direction we are going to come back up to high, highway M and straight through to go to Garmish. Being a, a road a trail, nice and smooth, so you can really open up the snowmobile. Get it all the way up to probably almost 30 miles an hour. <laughs> if I'm lucky, probably 20. <laughs> Which is plenty fast for a old sled like this. You never know what's about to break. I haven't ridden much in the last couple days with the warmer weather and raining. It's beautiful out there today, but the snow is so hard I don't know if I ever, I might go ride a little bit after I'm done editing this, but the hard, the snow is so hard and stuff, I don't want to beat up the snowmobile. I want it to be up and running for the, for the weenie roast in March. Now this is Highway M. You go to the right, you go toward the Town Hall and Highway D, and if you go to the left, you're going towards back towards Lakewoods, Evergreen, and to the Town of Cable. And 
this stop sign. This is Garmish Road uh, going up to Garmish's. When I add my little convertible, I love driving this road because it's kind of like a, a roller coaster because it's up and down like a lot of hills and stuff. Which is weird because I hate roller coasters, but and I hate if I'm passenger, but if you're driving, it's it's kind of fun. Usually the trails on the the left hand side over there in by the trees, but the snow is so deep, the trail wasn't through there, so I had to hug the, uh, hug the side of the road to get down to get back out onto Namakagan. Right, you go up to Garmish Resort. If you go around that bay, uh, you can go over and get onto Garden Lake over that direction. If you go out and around, just to the right hand side there is Garmish up on the hill there. And now we're heading back out to the, the trail that uh, would be, it's out in front of me there. There's uh, that, that island there is the one that was on our right hand side as we were going towards Lakewoods. Now we're going to be kind of hugging the shoreline going towards my house. This was a fun little stretch. Uh, this is right along by, uh, uh, let's see who, uh, what's the name of this resort? Can't remember off the top of my head, but this was a really fun sort of section. The snow wasn't, hadn't been ridden on, so it was real deep and flat, so you could real open up. That's, uh, we're back in front of, uh, Playmore, and heading back towards the house. This is the bay out in front of the house, and that's, uh, Hilltop in front of us. I like this little stretch through here. It's really deep, because the wind blows it up in there, so the snow gets nice and deep. It's fun to cut through there. back up to the house here. Got off and checked the checked the mail real quick while I was already out here. Jump back on the snowmobile and head down the driveway. Well thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber yet and you've been watching these videos, please drop me a subscribe, uh, hit a, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments what you thought, and I really appreciate it, you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments, hope to see you out on the trail.